Here goes. What's today's story? It's about the certification progress of Russia's rebuilt Yakovlev SJ-100, formerly the Sukhoi Superjet, a dream that might be getting close to fruition. As part of the import substitution program, the certification of the SJ-100 is proceeding at speed. Test flights are taking place all the time, with the requirement to complete about 230 test flights in order to complete the certification program, after which the aircraft would enter serial production. The latest test flight was piloted by a crew consisting of test pilots Leonardi Chikunov, Dmitry Savonin, and lead flight test engineer onboard operator Alexandra Krylov. The route with a total length of about 6,000 kilometers with an intermediate landing at the Novosibirsk airport took about 8 hours. During the flight, the aircraft reached a speed of 334 knots and an equivalent Mach number of Mach decimal 87, which is 24 knots and 0 0.05 Mach numbers more than the maximum permissible speed. The test flight was accompanied by experts from the Russian Aviation Register and the Gosniga Certification Center. The crew assessed the test flight's result as positive. The aircraft demonstrated the required stability and controllability characteristics and reliable operation of the control system systems and algorithms. Upon arrival at the Gromo Flight Research Institute airfield, the aircraft was transferred to the Yakovlev Aviation Technical Complex, where it will continue as part of the certification test program. Specialists will use this aircraft to perform flights to evaluate the performance of the crew's power plant. As part of the Rostec State Corporation, work on the Superjet Import Substitution Program is carried out by a large Corporation of Enterprises under the auspices of the Yakovlev Company of the United Aircraft Corporation. The new Russian power plants were created by specialists at the United Engine Corporation, in this case, the PD-8. So far, 35 certification test flights have taken place out of the roughly 230 required. The Russian Prime Minister has confirmed that the plan is that all the required tests will take place this year and the aircraft following certification will then enter into serial production. He made the statement in a recent meeting with Russian aviation insiders. There seems to be a celebratory mood around the SJ-100 by some of the actions being taken by Yakovlev. This SJ-100 will be the first Russian aircraft under the import substitution program to take on paying passengers. What remains unclear is what the annual production rate would be. This aspect seems to be a closely guarded secret. Rostec have made a robotic crane out of the Superjet as part of the art project Technofauna Rostec. They presented the civil products of the state corporation in the form of mechanized animals. This bird of crane family is endemic to the northern territories of Russia, that is, it lives exclusively on the territory of the country, although it flies to warmer climes for the winter. Superjets are also becoming endemic within the framework of the import substitution program. Their units and assemblies are manufactured in the Russian Federation and will soon completely replace foreign components. The aircraft is used both on domestic and international medium range routes. Stack Hov and Superjets are united by an elegant, easy flight and incomparable grace, both in the air and on the ground. On the basis that the certification program will be completed this year, it is therefore evident that the Yakovlev Superjet will enter into service in 2026. This is not that far away and that seems quite an accomplishment. But as usual with these things, one has to see when it enters into service, what the results are in terms of safety and maintenance. The completion of the certification program in 2025 would be a big win for Russia. It would show that since the sanctions of 2022, it has been able to overcome Western sanctions. This would be seen as the beginning of a process with the SJ-100 onto the MC-21 
and other potential aircraft. It, it has to be remembered this aircraft is not simply about sales to international partners, it's about uh, providing aircraft for use within Russia. Of course, the Russians would not ignore any possibility of selling it overseas, but the reality is that there is a shortfall of aircraft within the Russian Federation.